Well on the very same night, in a different place There was this hooded young youth by the name of James He was 14 years old and out of his brain He'd been smoking ganja with the boys Welcome to The Man. A couple days ago, I listened to Ren for the first time and I was blown away. I listened to Hi Ren and that song was phenomenal. It really was more of a masterpiece than a song. But there was a little bit of room for interpretation, so I had conversations with his fans in the comments, and I feel like I got a better grasp of the song and learned a lot more about Ren. The dude has been through hell on earth, and he still is putting out music that's encouraging and full of hope. He's connecting with so many different people in so many different ways. I've never seen anything like it. I went and watched him uh, do a cover of Bob Marley's song. He was busking, and he sang I Shot the Sheriff. And it kind of gives me an understanding of how this guy really can't be put into a box or a genre. He's doing something I've never seen before. But I feel like the best way to learn more about him is to kind of check out more of his music. And I keep seeing uh, Jenny's Tale recommended. So I'm going to check out Jenny's Tale by Ren. Jenny's Tale, what score are you going to get from the man? Let's go. that raw uncut sound that I loved in the last song there's this gal um birdie okay she has a song called skinny love it's a it's actually a cover of a Bon Iver song and in the background of her song you can hear the piano bench creaking you can hear kind of rough um fuzziness from the bad audio quality and I'm not suggesting to put a creaking piano bench in your music but there's something about it that makes it feel very real when you remove all of the the floof from an artist, are they still talented? Do they still sound good? This guy's standing in an alleyway playing his Taylor guitar, which is the same one I have, and he sounds phenomenal. Remove the floof, and how talented is an artist really? It shows his talent. Let's keep going. It was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere in the city. Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet She was heading back home to sleep Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Because she walked it about a thousand times before She wanted to escape Can you blame? Well, on the very same night, in a different place There was this hooded young youth by the name of James He was 14 years old and out of his brain He'd been smoking ganja with the boys James, he grew up to be a kid of the street His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet He was a liar, a thief, a 14 years old The devil had set his sights on his soul Alright, it's the obvious, but I gotta grasp it I gotta wrap my, my brain around this Okay, you got Jenny, she's walking down the street walking home for the thousandth time she knows it like the back of her hand you've got james also known as screech they call him screech he smokes ganja with his friends he's a liar a robber the soul the devil is trying to you know get a hold of his soul i know it's obvious but i just kind of kind of grab it before he continues let's keep going as Jenny walked home all along she felt scared Usually she was alright but it was like there was something in the air A divine intervention telling her to beware Maybe intuition bogging her and Listen making her so it. scared Sirens sound in the distance to the beat of Jenny's feet A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech Give me all your money bitch, give it to me If you cooperate then you'll soon be free I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me I mean it bitch are you listening to me jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite feel like liquid nitrogen in the dark night she tried to find strength to move but stayed as still as a statue in high heeled shoes what the hell you playing that you playing games with me i swear to fucking god i'll slice the rosy off your cheeks you think i don't mean it go you don't know me the last thing you see will be a boy called screech reach with the sheath that the blade with the teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he swung Possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath It was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at Nantucket City 
Jenny lay still on the cold concrete She's found somewhere to sleep Well she knew this town, she knew this floor Cause she'd walked it about a thousand times before I guess that she escaped It's such a shame That was Jenny's Tale by Ren, and my goodness, is he a storyteller. So the very end there, I saw that he has a song called Screech's Tale and Violet's Tale, which I'm assuming are probably continuations. I keep hearing people talk about a trilogy. This is probably that trilogy. I'm not sure if there's an actual real life connection. Is this a true story or based on something true? Y'all would know more about that, but oh my goodness. Once again, Ren is somebody completely unique. What score does Jenny's Tale get from the man? Well, I gave Hi Ren a solid 10, and that song kind of stands alone as a masterpiece. This song was phenomenal, but I don't think it's the same caliber, so I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, which is another solid score. I'm really looking forward to listening to Screech's Tale and I think Violet's Tale for maybe a continuation of the story. So far, this has been a phenomenal discovery. I think I found somebody who's really, really talented and really, really unique and has an amazing fan base and amazing community around him. I'm really excited to dig into more of his music, and I will be doing more uh, reactions in the future. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a comment below and let me know a song you want me to react to next. I want to say I really do appreciate all the love and support I've gotten from the very beginning. I started this channel back in January, and I'm just amazed by the growth it's had and the people that interact with my videos, the comments, the likes, and the subscribers. It means a lot. I know I'm a YouTube noob and a lot of my videos are kind of cringy. So thank you for sticking with it and sticking with the bad audio, the bad camera quality. I'm kind of learning as I go. I'd like to put out more videos. I can only do about three or four a week because I do have a full-time job. I started my own company. So that does occupy a lot of my time. Maybe that can change in the future. Um, and they do take me probably about four or five hours to make. I know that's ridiculous. Maybe because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm also a bit of a perfectionist, but anyway, I just wanted to say thank you. The man out.